Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unmanned. Proposed rule on remote ID for drones release. A squadron of drones makes nightly flights over Colorado and Nebraska. And robotic research unveils Pegasus Mini at CES 2020. Welcome to Aero News Network's Airborne Unmanned, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned. In partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International. I'm Sophie Herlock. The FAA announced a proposed rule which would continue the safe integration of UAS into the nation's airspace by requiring them to be identifiable remotely. In the coming days, the NPRM will be accompanied by a 60-day comment period to receive public feedback and help the FAA develop a final rule to enhance safety in the skies. Nearly 1.5 million drones and 160,000 remote pilots are registered with the FAA. Equipping drones with remote ID technologies would build on previous steps taken by the FAA and the UAS industry to safely integrate operations, including the small UAS rule, which covers drones weighing less than 55 pounds and lance. The proposed remote ID rule would apply to all drones required to register with the FAA, as well as to persons operating foreign civil UAS in the U.S. Now it's time for our Unmanned Minute, where we'll be taking a quick look at news making rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. AUVSI has welcomed the FAA's remote ID NPRM, but they have not yet taken a stand on the proposal. AUVSI has long called for the establishment and implementation of these standards, which they believe will increase safety and security while also advancing the UAS industry. While they're still reviewing the details of the proposed rule, AUVSI is pleased the FAA is finally moving forward with rulemaking for remote ID standards after four delays. The NBAA has also commented on the proposed regulations. NBAA Vice President, Regulatory and International Affairs, Doug Carr, stated this notice from the FAA is a foundational document for moving forward with integrating not just UAS, but other emerging technologies in a way that addresses our industry's collective safety, security, and other objectives. We thank the FAA for issuing the important proposal, and we look forward to working with the FAA and other stakeholders to secure its adoption. Recently, Pablo Air set the record for the longest time and distance drone delivery in Korea by flying a drone 57.514 kilometers for 1 hour and 56 minutes. Pablo Air was also the first Korean company that successfully performed a drone art show with 100 drones using swarm flight technology at the 2019 Drone Regulatory Sandbox Fair. Leonardo concluded a series of flights with its M40 target drone as part of a trial campaign in Italy. This saw the drone simulating modern airborne threats, allowing for realistic demonstration of MBDA's latest surface-to-air Mistral missile. The M40 is Leonardo's latest entry in its Miroc target drone family and is able to mimic a variety of aircraft and missiles including radar, infrared, and visual threats. We'll be right back with the rest of the news. A squadron of 6 to 10 drones have been making nightly flights over areas of Colorado and Nebraska. The drones are described as having 6-foot wingspans, flying several hundred feet in the air and flying in grid patterns over multiple counties. Theories of the drone's origin and mission range from farmers looking for lost cows to television production and aircraft of extraterrestrial origin. Sheriffs in the counties where the drones have been flying have contacted the FAA, which said it had no information about the aircraft. The Air Force, DEA, and the U.S. Army Forces Command have also either denied they're operating the drones or know anything about them. It's not clear if any laws are being broken by the flights. However, Lincoln County Sheriff Tom Nestor said he's most concerned about the drones potentially colliding with a manned aircraft. Robotic Research is debuting the Pegasus Mini, a new football-sized transformable drone at CES 2020. 
The Mini is a smaller version of the original Pegasus introduced in August, which established a new category of transformable unmanned autonomous vehicles that both drive on land and fly. These features provide a new range of capabilities to support commercial industry, first responders, law enforcement, and military customers. The Pegasus Hybrid UAS UGV configuration delivers advanced GPS-denied mapping with fully autonomous high-speed flying and driving capabilities. The aircraft weighs 4.2 pounds and can carry payloads of up to 2 pounds. The Pegasus Mini can operate in flight mode for 30 minutes or up to 2 hours in drive mode. And that wraps up our show for today. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and check us out on Facebook and on Twitter. For more information on the innovative world of all things unmanned, head over to auvsi.org and airborne-unmanned.net. I'll see you tomorrow.